So here is the clean sound. Hey, how's it going? So this is the silicon version of the Mini Fuzz. It has external bias control, external fuzz control, obviously a volume control. So we also have a three-way selector switch, which allows you to switch between three very distinctive fuzz tones. The fat full setting is the classic uh, full range fuzz tone, which gives you uh, lots of low end and a very warm sound, which you know cleans up very well. You then got the zonk setting, which is reminiscent of the 60s tone bender sounds. You can get some really sort of cream style tones with this, uh, very sort of singy, and it really cuts well in the band. And if you use it with a low bias setting, it gives you that sort of slightly gritty, almost slightly broken type riff tones. Very cool. And we also have the vintage setting. Um, this setting works great if you're using humbucker guitars. So this basically gets rid of a lot of the lows and simulates a, an older pedal that has a slightly more mid-rangey sound. This also allows you to use pretty much any selection of pickups without it getting too mushy in the low end. Um, that's one trouble with a lot of uh, fuzz pedals is if you try and use it with a neck pickup it can just be too mushy to use. So the vintage setting is great for that. Cool, let's listen to a few tones. This is the clean sound. <laughs> So the external bias control controls the bias voltage for the circuit. Uh, with very low or under bias settings, you get a very gated, um, almost broken type sound. And as you move it up, uh, maybe just slightly under biased, you'll get that very classic sort of violin type fuzz tones. If you move it up into the sort of central region, it'll be the classic um, fuzz sort of biased correctly, if you like. And then the over bias sounds actually become slightly more overdriven, sounding a little bit more like an overdrive. Um, even if you've got it fully set to um, over biased, it will begin to get a little bit gated again. So you've got a huge range of tones within this. So the under biased and over biased sounds actually sound very different from each other. So with the bias set all the way down, the pedal actually works a little bit like a noise gate. Um, so only certain notes will come through, and this is really cool for certain types of riffs, but it produces a very distinctive sound. So this is what it sounds like. So it's really cool for those like kind of extreme riffs and stuff and it's it's kind of almost like a synthy type sound. As you roll the bias up a little bit, you'll hear I'm just gonna play an open I'll just play an open chord so you can hear it come in. So this would be just like it's right on the verge, so it's still working normally, but this kind of gives you a really um it's actually a very sort of violin type sound. If we use it on very, very low fuzz settings, we can get almost uh, an overdrive, kind of warm overdrive type sound, so. Again, we can move the bias down and get a little bit more broken up sound. So this is the uh, fuzz on full, so you can hear how much drive there is. So let's
let's look at the Zonk setting. Um, we'll use it with like a, a really high bias setting first of all, and a sort of a medium fuzz. We'll hear what that sounds like. Clean sound again. <laughs> setting now down to a low bias we get a similar sort of sound but it's a little bit more gated So the Zonk setting gives you that very unique style of fuzz tone. Uh, I think it works definitely better with a low or a high bias setting. It, it sort of adds that character to it. So finally, the vintage setting is a great option if you're, if you're playing in a band and you really want the fuzz to cut through, or if you're using humbuckers and you just don't want so much of that mid-range in the fuzz tone. So this is on the back pickup. <laughs> This is the neck pickup. So you can hear on the vintage setting, even when you're using a, a neck pickup, you can still get a lot of that clarity uh, still coming through. It doesn't get lost and muddy in the low end. So the last thing I want to talk about, and it's something that most of you probably already know about, but is the incredible clean tones you can get with a fuzz pedal. Now you basically do this just by rolling the volume on your guitar down just a little bit, and the fuzz will clean up and give you this um, almost glassy, clean, clear tone that's really super playable. And I know I know of a few players that actually leave a fuzz pedal on all the time just for those clean tones. So for me, the best way I found is if you turn the volume up to full and then you just turn the fuzz down, maybe just a little bit below half. Um, and just roll your guitar down a little bit. You'll get some really cool clean tones. So. <laughs> So as you roll it down a little bit more, it'll get a little bit softer, um, but it's still got that brightness in the top end. And of course, if you roll your volume up, you'll get full fuzz. So you can kind of go from nothing to full fuzz and anything in between. So it's really cool. A lot of people use their fuzz pedals on all the time just for that reason. So you have a treble bleed capacitor on your volume control on your guitar. I know a lot of people have that fitted. It basically means that as you roll down your guitar, it actually keeps some of the high end. So I've got a switch on my guitar. So I, that was without, so this is with one in. And you'll hear it just goes insanely glassy, which is actually really fun. <laughs> So this pedal also has some internal settings. It allows you to select between a vintage and fat output. The fat output basically gives you a lot of extra low end. So if you want a really big fat fuzz tone, um, you can just set it to the, the fat setting. If you want a classic vintage sound, then set it to vintage. So if any of you have tried an original fuzz pedal, you'll know that normally you just run it with the volume absolutely full because the output's very low. So this uh, pedal has an internal switch that allows you to switch between vintage, with the, which is the classic circuit, or boost, which gives you a lot of extra output. So if you want to drive your amp, uh, you can set it to the boost setting, or if you want the classic vintage sound, just set it to vintage. Now, if any of you have had a fuzz pedal before and tried to run it from a DC, you might have noticed it's either very noisy uh, or it just does not sound as good as a battery. Now, so what we've done with this pedal is built in a, um, a battery simulator, which basically means that we can run it from a DC power supply and it'll still sound like it's running from a battery. So if you're running this pedal from an external battery box, uh, there's also a little jumper in here 
which allows you to disconnect the battery simulator. So the battery is connected directly to the circuit and there's no other components in the way, which uh, again, just goes towards trying to make it sound 100% uh, authentic and as much like a vintage fuzz as possible. Cool, I think we've covered everything. If you think I've missed anything, please leave a comment below. Uh, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and check out some of the other videos. Uh, thank you, bye.